crying? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I'll double check on that. Nope, there's only one bird. The tree's really swaying a lot. Yeah, like you can see it swaying. Yeah, it's hard for me to keep it in frame sometimes because it's swaying so much. By the way, the footage is great of this kite. Take a look here. Let me just show you the... Can you see? Can you see the screen? Yeah. The footage is going to look great. I have it with full optical zoom. No, that's be well, so the male was the one that was preening, the female was just standing there looking around. But the one that was preening was probably the one that was hunting. Yeah, I know the female wasn't hunting. Start putting this away. So, by the way, as soon as that kite um, flies off, we're out of here. Those aren't kites that you're hearing. No. No, 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 I heard it in the back of the Heard what, a kite? A duck? A hawk. A hawk? It's probably at the other lake, right? 
You know, the other lake that's over there. They do too. I'll show you a video on YouTube when I get home. Yeah. They go in the lake and catch fish? Well, it, the video just showed a hawk eating a fish up on a tree branch. But they do actually catch fish, red-shouldered hawks. In fact, if you look up red-shouldered hawks online, you'll read that they do catch fish. They just don't they just don't catch them as often as osprey do. That's all. They're just not quite as good at catching fish because their talons are aren't aren't the spread out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a red-shouldered hawk, a fish could slip out very easily right. after it catches it. That's the biggest problem. Yeah, uh, 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 an osprey, that fish is not getting away. Yeah, that's exactly. Fish. Then that's onto a fish that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> right. Yeah, in fact, there's somebody who I'm not going to mention who lives in Jacksonville. She has a video of a red shoulder hawk catching a fish. Okay. Yeah. And we aren't far from Jacksonville at all. I mean, I mean, we're like 30 miles, but there's still plenty of rivers, there's plenty of lakes around here, just like there are in Jacksonville. Well, if they can do it in Jacksonville, they can do it here. Well, yeah, of course. They aren't? No. Oh yeah, they're supposed to be in South America, Mexico, that's right. Uh, the the, the, you know. Well, there's Muscovy ducks in downtown Jacksonville too. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. Yeah. In downtown Jacksonville, you can get really close to them too.